everyone let us discuss about montezia fracture dislocation today and we'll also be talking about golgi fracture dislocation which is the counterpart of this fracture okay so at first we have montezia fracture dislocation it is the fracture of the proximal one by third of the ulna and the dislocation of the head of the radius okay so it is the fracture of the proximal one third of the ulna while the glazy fracture is the fracture of the distal one by third of the radius okay here there is dislocation of the head of the radius so what is the mode of the injury there is fall on outstretched hand with hyperextension and pronation injury so we can uh, remember this fracture as um, our red ulna lies on the medial side okay and m for montezia fracture and m for medial side so we'll have the fracture of the medial bone which is a ulna so talking about clinical features when there is fracture in any part of our body then there is obviously swelling and some pain okay so here in this fracture also the clinical features are the same there is swelling and there is pain and also when the fracture is displaced we will obviously have deformity so there is ulnar deformity there is swelling which may marks the radial dislocation and there is pain in the lateral elbow then we have x-ray findings so in x-ray findings the normal finding let's talk about it first so we have mclaughlin's line which is the straight line when drawn along the center of the shaft of the radius it cuts the capitulum in the center irrespective of the position of the elbow so when the elbow is in any position the when we draw a line straight line along the shaft of the radius it cuts the capitulum in the center okay so let us see a figure here so as we can see here this is the capitulum and this is our radius so uh, irrespective of the uh, position of our elbow when we draw the line along the shaft of the radius it cuts the capitulum in the middle part okay then if it is not normal then we all have montezia fracture dislocation okay so talking about this treatment in children close reduction and immobilization in full arm plaster cast is enough while in adult open reduction and inter internal fixation must be done with the help of plates and screws talking about galaxy fracture dislocation i have already said that it is the fracture of the distal one third of the radius and dislocation or subluxation of the inferior radio ulnar joint we know the difference between the dislocation and subluxation dislocation is uh, dislocation means to total uh, displacement of the uh, two parts of the fracture while subluxation is the partial dislocation okay so mode of injury here is also fall on the outstretched hand with marked pronation and the treatment is to restore the length in case of the children which can be done by close reduction and in immobilization by using full arm plaster cast for 6 weeks okay so in case of adults we should do um, um open reduction and internal fixation with the help of dynamic screws and plates so there are three possibilities after this open reduction and internal fixation if the fracture is reduced and stably stable then only rest is enough if the fracture is reduced and is unstable then supination must be continued for stability while k wire fixation can be used similarly if the fracture is irreducible then open reduction and repair of the triangular fibrocartilage complex is necessary okay so this much for today hope you like this video please subscribe bye bye